So hi there Pisces, a very very good evening to you guys. This is Anjali Taro and this is a journal reading, journal monthly reading for all the Pisces, Sun, Moon, Venus rising from 1st to the 15th of September 2024. I'm going to tap into your recent past, current energies and near future and we will see the guidance for you guys as usual starting with the overall energy for this month, okay. If you want to be a professional tarot card reader like me, you can start your journey by purchasing my course. The link is in the description box for the same. If you want to start your self-healing journey with Ho'oponopono but don't know from where to start, you can definitely start by purchasing my masterclass. Again, the link is in the description box for the same. It has the power to change your life or the rest of your life. Trust me on that. I'm doing it from a very, very long time now. And if you want one-on-one -on -one healing sessions or personal readings, you can check out the description box and you can mail me for the same. So let's start. Pisces. Overall energy for Pisces people for the uh, first 15 days of September 2024 is, let's see. Okay, so we have the temperance. You are going to be in this energy of let's be patient with everything and everyone and whatever is meant for me will come to me eventually. You will try your best not to lose your temper, not to, uh, you know, um, mess things up with people, situations and connections and things that are important for you. So you are going to be in this energy of let's be uh, cool, let's be calm, let's be patient. That's cool. That's really cool. Let's see in the recent past what was happening. Fool card. So you were in this energy of jumping into the unknown. You were feeling like in a certain, you were feeling like going in a certain direction with a lot of faith with this energy of, okay, I got my shit together. Even if I don't get, got my shit together, I have to take the leap of faith with the universe. The universe got my back and everything is going to be all right. So you were in that energy in the recent past. Currently you are in this energy of lovers having some kind of choices. You have to some you have to make some kind of decision. The lovers is not always about love. Sometimes, uh, sometimes it is a decision uh, about uh, two uh, uh, career options or two things in your life or what you should do and what you should not do in, in your life kind of a deal. So you have a choice to make right now. You're on the crossroads about what should I do in a particular direction. Hmm? Okay, we will explain these. By the 15th of September, we have the hanged man. You're going to be in the, in the surrender mode. Let's see things from a different perspective. Let's surrender to the divine. Let's... Uh, uh stay still and stay calm okay let's clarify the fool here we have the ten of wands the death card and the magician yeah you ended something, you ended some kind of chapter of your life, but that was very, very stressful for you. You ended a very stressful chapter of your life, very stressful connection or situation that was weighing you down in some way. You were manifesting this energy of having a breakthrough out of a situation that was kind of taking a lot from you and you were not getting shit out of that. So you were in this energy of universe, give me the power, give me the healing and give me the energy to let go of something or someone that is not meant for me anymore and give me this power to just have a breakthrough and get out of this situation and break free from the situation and you took the leap of faith you just jumped into the unknown you felt like okay now it's time for me to jump so you did it okay now in the current situation we have the lovers a decision to make a choice to make let's clarify the lovers here we have the queen of swords the world card and the eight of swords yeah, you are in this energy of being very practical, very logical, very much in this energy of I'm going to take like all my, all of the decisions of my life with my mind rather than my heart. I have to let go of this mental jail. I have to let go of the stressful energies. I was too much sensitive. I was I was too much in my uh, heart. I was too much uh, like uh, giving. I was too much in the energy of giving love to everybody and everything. And I got nothing okay so now you are in this energy of being very practical being very logical and trying to make decisions out of your mind rather than your heart and it's kind of difficult for you Pisces because you're a water sign and it's very difficult for water signs to make their choices make their decision with their uh, mind rather than their heart but you're trying to do that you're trying to do that so it's like a choice uh, try, you are trying to make a choice with your mind rather than your heart and it's kind of very difficult for you to do that but you're kind of in this energy of no I know I can do it. Okay, you're trying to do that. Now by the 15th of September, we have the hanged man. So it's like being in the surrender mode, being in this energy, finally understanding that you can't be, change or control people, things or situations the way you want. So it's better to be in the surrender mode. Let's clarify the hanged man.
we have the two of swords the four of cups the three of swords yeah see i'm telling you because you're using all of your mind rather than your heart you are going to make some choices that's going to hurt you eventually it's like you are going to be hurt you are going to be like what the hell is happening i'm not able to see the clear picture of the future in front of me i am upset i'm not getting what i want why the hell life sucks why the hell it's painful why the hell am i not able to understand life uh, why the hell the universe is uh, like uh, punishing me again and again and again <laughs> because the universe wants you to stay connected with your heart and soul you know you're going uh, you're going against your heart now going in the direction of your heart doesn't mean that if you love somebody you should beg them you should chase them you should cry you should be in this energy for oh my god i can't live without you i should be with you only this or that no it just means it simply means to accept a situation or person or thing or your feelings the way they are and slowly but surely working on them and just accepting the fact that you love something or someone with all of your heart and soul even if you can't do anything about it it's not in your hands we can understand that but accepting the feelings accepting the energies accepting the truth for what it is is very very important and rather than using your mind um use your heart because mind always gives like tricks you in some kind of wrong situations and eventually you get hurt see i get it when we take when we make decision with our heart we get hurt a lot of times yeah but at the same time we get a lot of lesson and blessings at least we are true to ourselves and remaining true to ourselves is very very important okay according to osho either it, there is mind or there is peace right so if you want peace in your life you have to remove mind so even if you are going to get hurt when you are going to take decisions with your heart you are on the right track you are on the spiritual journey you are going to grow as a person as a soul as a human right so it's it's like a lesson a lesson the universe wants you to learn some kind of lesson here and i told you the lesson very very clearly and honestly and loud loud and clear it's a loud and clear message for you guys now what it's up to you what you're going to do so something is going to hurt you something is going to make you feel like oh my god i took the wrong decision or i made the right uh, wrong choice and then it's going to give you this energy of being in the surrender mode being in this energy of okay let's surrender to the divine whatever is meant for me will come to me and then it's going to lead to massive healing in the coming future okay making sense now let's see the guidance for you guys in the situation pisces we have the sun card the nine of cups and the three of wands yes there is a bright future ahead of you there is a bright 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 future ahead ahead of you all you have to do is pisces uh, you have to align with your heart you are, you have to align with your heart chakra you have to align with your true 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 happiness what, who pisces truly is what truly pisces feels from inside and then you have you have to walk on that path and then just uh, wait for the miracles and the magic to unfold in front of your eyes naturally and organically all you have to do is to follow your heart even if it hurts because this is the ultimate path to happiness eventually sorry <laughs> so yeah thank you so much for tuning in pisces i'll see you soon in the next video bye bye take care god bless you namaste